Hi, welcome to lecture 3 of the module Water. In this lecture, we will be talking about EDTA method used for determination of water hardness. And my goal for this particular mini lecture is to make sure you understand how this method works and how you can use this method to calculate hardness of any water sample. This method is based on complexometric titration method and this method is so called complexometric because here we use complexing agent or chelating agent EDTA that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Check the structure of EDTA. It is useful because of its role as hexadentate ligand and this is because of its having six active sites. EDTA usually binds to metal cations through its two amines and four carboxylates and because of this EDTA got an ability to sequester metal ions such as Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus. So for the titration we required standard EDTA solution that means which having known concentration then ereochrome black tea indicator to observe color change at end point and buffer solution of pH 10 to maintain alkaline condition. Now for titration we need to pipette out known quantity of water sample in conical flask say 25 ml and add 5 to 10 ml of buffer solution of pH 10 then add ereochrome black tea indicator. As soon as you add indicator, we will observe color of water sample changes to wine red. Then titrate that solution against standard EDTA solution from burette. Gradually you will observe wine red color of solution gets faint and at the end point color changes to blue. Now note down the burette reading and take two more readings to get constant burette reading. Using this reading you can calculate hardness of water sample. You will see that later. Before that let's see chemistry behind this color change and how this reaction works. When you add blue color indicator ereochrome black tea to the alkaline water sample, metal ions like Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus present in water forms wine red colored complex with indicator EBT. Hence you will observe sudden color change in indicator. However, this wine red colored metal indicator complex is not so strong. When you titrate such solution against standard EDTS solution which having ability to form strong complex with metal ions like Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus previously formed metal indicator complex get back and new more strong metal EDTA complex gets formed gradually. This complex is colorless. Hence, you will observe gradual fall in wine red color and at the end point when all metal ions get bonded to EDTA, indicator gets separate out and give its own blue color to the solution. If you have concentration of EDTA, constant burette treating and volume of water sample used for titration, you can easily calculate total hardness of given water sample using this equation that is 1 ml of 1 normal EDTA corresponds to 50 mg of CaCO3. To calculate permanent hardness you need to boil water sample so that dissolved bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium will precipitate out as carbonates or hydroxides of calcium and magnesium and then filter that precipitate and use that filtrate to calculate permanent hardness using similar procedure. 
and finally difference between total and permanent hardness will give you temporary hardness so that's it for now thank you so much see you next time